Today, we're going to talk about ghost notes. And this is an interesting technique that a lot of bass players use in modern electric bass playing. Um, probably one of the players who popularized this the most was Jaco Pastorius. Um, Jaco was really uh, very dexterous at incorporating these into a lot of different styles and a lot, a lot of different ideas on his bass lines. Now, ghost notes are really a combination of things between the two hands. First of all, the fretting hand is playing sort of a half note. You're half fretting the note often. So you get... So you'll kind of just get a hint of the note and then you'll get the percussive edge. To the note too. Now, obviously, it depends where you play it on the bass, these ghost notes. So let's just play up here over the C here on the G string. Now, often to bring these out, the best way is to play near the bridge of the bass, usually on the back pickup. I mean, the moment I have the pickup controls set so that just about everything is coming from the back pickup to really make this punch out. Now, as I'm fretting the note, you'll notice that I'm not fully playing, let's say, like a C here. I'm not really doing that. I might be going. See, it's all just a combination of just dead notes and then I'm fretting some and then dampening them. Now sometimes we get a little overtone like with a harmonic as well. This can be a cool effect to incorporate in as well. Uh, here's an example of a bass line which is using these dead notes and then some harmonics too. can see like I'm using the dead note thing to play the beginning of the line. But what I'm also doing is I'm getting a slight overtone here from the natural harmonics, which we just get, you know, if you just touch the string over these points, we get the harmonics occurring. And there's also a section you can check out on harmonics on the bass as well, so you can check these out a little more in depth. So with playing that, I like that idea of just a hint of the harmonic and then with the percussive edge of the dead note. And as I'm doing this, you notice again, I'm right back on the back pickup here just to really make those notes or the dead notes pop out. And what I'm doing now is I'm starting to incorporate a little bit of muting as well with the whole hand, which we covered in the muting section. So. See here, I'm just resting that finger lightly on the string. So I just get that little edge. I get the mixture of the harmonic, but it's really, I'm not making it ring out. See, if I did, I get this. I don't want that. I just kind of want just very short. So like that and that gives you this nice kind of edge to the sound now some of the musicians who do this uh, in contemporary bass playing to check out some of the uh, bass players coming out of Africa uh, Etienne Mbappe from Cameroon Richard Boner as well also from West Africa from Cameroon um, these guys have an amazing facility to add this little kind of pocket of air a little percussive attack around the note they play and it just gives the bass playing a, a really amazing kind of buoyancy so it's really worth checking out bass players from different cultures, particularly from Africa right now. There's some amazing guys coming out who've really taken the technique that say Jaco, for instance, kind of popularized and just added their own kind of flavor to it. So again, just to go over this. So what we're doing is we're just lightly touching the strings again, very similar. You, you, you've got a bit of the muting idea incorporated here as well, uh, but we're getting more attack, you see. So there, you can see like I was combining those ideas together. A little bit of the muting, 
a little bit of the dead note thing as well. You notice as I ran up the string, see, I've got that real subtle left hand damping coming in. So I'm just touching the strings in front of the note I'm playing. So I was running up chromatically from C to C sharp to D here. But if I play it like this, it's a little too literal, but if I play, it's a little more dramatic sounding. And then if you combine that with the full on dead note, very effective. 